I have projects that I am working on. Check out that glitter. It is a rainy, miserable day. But that's okay because I'm home and I have things to do. Good morning tribe, it is 6.30am Thursday the 3rd of September, I'm up, I'm out of bed, I've got my early morning water and I've got some grapes because I wanted a little snack. On today's to-do list, one, write up invested, two, finish all of the centres for my victory sleeves, three, complete five pages of the grading workbook and number four, edit a vlog and look, I got that bag, that bag and that bag of yarn. This weekend, I'll show you soon. Also started a new project, I'm not telling you what it's for, that's Tribe Star information only. What do you reckon to the colours? Really liking this yarn, it's a tweed. Love me a tweed. Okay, to-do list. I've got beads in this colourway, but also black and gold so i'm going to make the bracelets up and show you them all very soon and of course never stop wearing my own that i've made <laughs> and then this happened <gasps> i also have the white and gold variation so the crocheter and knitter bracelets will also come in a white and gold bead with a lobster clasp finding to make it easier to put on and off make it look that extra level and yeah <laughs> I think these are my favourite It is now four minutes to eight. I have spent the last hour and a half writing up Invested. I've made loads of progress, but it still needs a good couple of hours putting into it to get it where it needs to be so that I can then send it on to be tech edited. For now, I am going to do my next part of my morning routine, which is exercise. Now I know many people out there will be rolling their eyes and trust me, I don't want to do it, but I commit 15 minutes every morning to a quick workout, whether that be some sort of cardio or weights or yoga or something, just to get my body moving and I find that the days that I do, I am more productive, more focused and my mindset overall is much improved. I'm happier, smiley, and I don't get that brain fog that you get from spending hours and hours in front of a laptop because I've just done an hour and a half this morning and then I have my day job which is another seven and a half hours and then 
I have more time this evening to get this finished. So for now, let's do our workout. That's my morning session done. Now I'm going to get a shower and get ready for the day job and breakfast, of course. Good morning, tribe. It is now two minutes to eight and I am ready to do my video chat with my day job, my colleagues. I've got my juice ready, my warm juice. My breakfast is also here. By the time the video call is done, that will be cool enough to eat. And then I'm gonna have a really productive day. I'm quite pleased with everything I got done this morning. I made some really good progress on Invested and I have got a few other bits and pieces ticked off. So I'm gonna crack on with this and I will catch up with you on my lunch break to let you know how my morning is going. And then I will show you more of my day in the life of a designer this evening as I have this evening to myself and everything you saw on that whiteboard earlier I am planning on getting finished off. Day job done. <laughs> hey tribe, welcome back to my studio vlog, day in the life of a crochet designer. I have finished my day job now. It's just gone five o'clock. I have hit all my targets for that. Wrapped up a load of things I wanted to get done. Still some tasks on my to-do list that are nagging in the back of my mind. So they will be tomorrow morning's priority. But I need to log off, it's still logged in. I'm gonna log off and we're gonna go for a walk because I always find that my head's just a little bit foggy after all that screen time. So it'd be good to get out the house. Um, and this has happened. I have been making squares on my brakes I find that if I set myself a task, um, like a goal, once I get to it, I reward myself with granny squares. I get a lot done, um, and I've made a lot of granny squares. There are enough granny squares here to make the second panel for the top, and the squares lined up, you can't even tell, but these two piles, one and two, are for the sleeves and then this little knot is the next lot that I've started for the skirt. Um, I started the morning with I think there was 12 of these that needed the blue round adding which meant there was I'm gonna say 64 or 65 that I'd completed 
Um, no, I'm lying to you. Basically, I've made about 20 of these and added the second round to about 30 plus. 24. I'm going to say at least 40. That was a lot of ramble. So basically, I have made a whole load of squares today. Um, I think in total I've probably done about 60 of these and I've added the second round to about 40. And I've started the second panel and I really have to get up and go for a walk because my wrist is starting to hurt, which you know that then you need to step away from the hook. So that's all there, just waiting for me to come back. Um, I actually am using less yarn than I anticipated. Not in terms of weight, because I've graded it and I know how much it's going to weigh, but in terms of looking at that bag, I kind of thought it would all just be eaten up really quickly, but I think I actually have enough left to make a little bralette. And I actually have a design in mind for two bralettes, which then means victory would be a four part pattern, because you'll be able to mix and match between a skirt, a jumper, and two little bralette tops. I also, you might not want to hear this, but I'm going to tell you, Christmas, 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 Christmas. I had a little design pop into my head for a Christmas jumper, granny square of course, and I want to make it and I'm really excited for it but it means to get that pattern to you by December, I need to have it with the tech editor within like a week, two weeks max. Um, I'm not so excited about that part. I'm back from my walk. I feel really zen, really calm right now. Did I tell you that I bought more pink yarn to finish this version of Revival? Because I did. And as soon as Victory, which is this one, is done, I'm gonna get a second version of Revival. And I might do a hack on the pattern and not put in the cow neck this on the jumper because I know a lot of people aren't that keen on it so I was thinking I could do another version on the neck and maybe put a YouTube tutorial up. Let me know if you want to see that otherwise I'll just be making it for myself but I do love the colours. It's gonna be hella bright, hella comfy and whilst I'm showing you yarn let me show you more okay so you know that I brought where's it going? more sparkle and whilst I was purchasing that I purchased some more pink so that I can finish revival this is a sheep he's in the Den Bosch, or Den Bosch. Apparently, 
all of these names are cities in somewhere I forgot oh anyway it's in colour 1241 and then I got another one but I'm not sharing I'm not sharing what this is for right now but I got this it smells so good because it is 65% wool and 35% alpaca and that's for a mystery project it's almost six o'clock in the evening. I'm gonna set my timer for two hours. I'm gonna sit at my desk and I'm gonna get invested, written up, finished, so it could be sent off to be tech edited because as soon as that is finished, that frees up my time in the morning to be working on the workbook again and it frees up my time to be working on Victory. So as soon as that's finished, um, that can be written up and sent off to be tech edited which means I can work on I've got revival the second version I've also got mystery project and I've also got the yarn that I'm not sharing the drops lemur so let's crack on um it's eight minutes to nine. I was originally gonna give myself two hours. The two hours came and went and I was so close. So to keep my bottom on my chair, I went and got my foot spa set up so I could soak my feet. Um, and it worked because in that 52 minutes, I am pretty much done. I need to work out the yardage and add that in. I need to check the page numbers and there's a couple of references to page numbers within the pattern that I need to go back and sort out. Other than that, it's done. So half hour push in the morning and invested will be finished and sent off to the tech editor. And I'm really, really pleased with it. It looks really good and because it's just a vest, it's like half the pages that Promise and um, Revival were. So I think it's on, yeah, it's only 10 pages, only. Um, I have put in all the diagrams, the schematics, 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 I've put all of that in too. Um, yeah, it looks good, do you wanna see? I had to go with this as the front cover um, and then and I've got some pretty cool photos throughout. <sighs> Feels good to get it done. It's been a longer day than I intended but I'm glad that that's done. Happy 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 AK Tribe. I am going to get a little snack um, because the last time I ate was before I went on my walk at about quarter past five and it's five to nine so just a light snack guzzle a lot of water and I'm gonna go to bed and read my book no more crochet tonight because my wrist is like what did you do so let's go and read my book I have been on a real reading mission um I have read I don't know three or four books in the last couple of weeks and they've all been mega amazing um, I might do a little separate vlog on them because I took so much from them and uh, definitely something to share with you all okay so I'm gonna go to bed I'm gonna dry my feet take them out the foot spa get a little snack and then go to bed and read my book I hope you've enjoyed today's um, studio vlog day in the life of we successfully got invested, written up, um, and I have made loads of progress on victory. So, smiley, smiley, happy. Okay, tribe, night, night. See you. Goodbye.